Hey, what's up YouTube? Zal here and welcome to our Wednesday video. Uh, so as you know, I have been doing this a little bit more often. I'm trying to do it the best I can uh, with uploading more videos. And hell, I even had a Monday video, which I know su probably surprised most of you, even though I was like, hey, I'm gonna have a Wednesday Monday video. But uh, yeah, I have got some very exciting news uh, that I wanted to tell you all about today. Uh, but before we get to that, look at this right here. I finally bred myself a plum drago turkey. And when I show you the, the mount, you're going to be like, Zal, what the hell were you doing? So let's go ahead and look at the family tree. <laughs> I bred an ivory and turquoise with a turquoise. And you're like, Zal, why the hell would you do that? And the reason I did that is I basically had no one else to breed with these. And I wanted to try and get one of these plum or emeralds right here because I don't have a plum or an emerald and I got lucky and actually got one of the plums so I'm probably gonna do it again hell I may even breed this plum with this turquoise drag actually I want to see um, this plum is a male and that one's a female so yeah I'm gonna be doing that I will 100% be doing that. Uh, I just got to get this plum, his lovely little stuff, all the way up there, and then I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully, I can get another plum or I can get some emeralds. Uh, and then after that, we'll be uh, getting on our way to really having ourselves a nice little uh, drago turkey breeding farm. I don't even know what you want to call it, but basically, my goal is to get a bunch of everything well not everything the four main stats and ivories ginger and emeralds and then the four main stats and plums because those are the main guys that uh if anything's going to sell it's gonna be those let's be honest um everything else is a little bit pointless and useless for me right now um i am working on getting almond and crimsons up though uh, not sure why I'm doing that, basically just because I had so many. But yeah, I might just have a uh, Tier 3 Almond and Crimson Drago Turkey here soon. So we'll see how that goes. Either way, some pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. But yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into what exciting, fantastic news I have. Um, and if you're paying attention to the screen, you may have even realized, but I, I don't, I don't know. I doubt it. So yeah, <laughs> let's see what I'm talking about, guys. All right, guys, I've got some very exciting news. At least I think it is, it's exciting, man. I can't talk. I'm so excited. Uh, basically, I'm going to be changing Zalathni, who's currently a Fogernaut, to the new Osa. And you're probably sitting there like, why? Why, Zal? And there are a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason is that I made Zalathni the character to be mainly the healer. Um, as you can tell, I'm making a very weird team. I want to make a non-typical team that can till still sustain itself decently well. And Zalathni can just cannot heal well enough. Um, basically, basically, uh, Zalafni, her, whatever that machine is that heals, I don't even know, the lifesaver, can heal allies and enemies, and I can't control which, and that's just not that good for me, and on top of that, the same exact thing with the, with the turret. So, or the Harpooner. So overall, it's just not a character I'm enjoying too much. So, I've decided to switch it to the Osa. That's not the only reason, though. The Osa just got a revamp, and I really want to play with it, and I really want to see it. And it seems like a lot of fun, so that's just added on top of why I'm planning on doing it so here in a second i'm gonna buy the o grinds to switch and then with real money i don't have enough money to afford it commas wise um and switch her over and i'll make sure to involve you in that but until then i will see you
All right, and here we are. It's been just a few minutes, but we've got our O-Grinds. So let's go ahead and head to the shop and buy this stuff. So as you can see, I bought the 11,000 O-Grinds. I wanted to just buy the 5,000 O-Grinds, but unfortunately, it's uh, slightly more. It's 5450. So I had to buy the 11,000 O-Grinds. Um, I'm not going to do with anything with the O-Grinds. I may even... Um, do a giveaway and sell the O-Grinds to get like 1 million commas and then do a, do a uh, subscriber giveaway or something like that and just pick someone that gives away or that subscribed and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through, but something along those lines. But yeah, <laughs> that is not the point of this because we are changing the class. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I want to buy the class change. Class change purchased. Congratulations, you can change your character's class the next time you log in. So let's go ahead and do that. Am I going to have to log all the way out? Because if I do, I'm going to have to cut some stuff. But I don't think I'm going to have to. Going to have to. I'll just find out when this loads if I click play. The interface allows you to modify your character. Beautiful. We are doing an Osa, the creature summoner, and hide equipment. Uh, yeah, I just want to customize a little bit. I want to see what faces. Oh, wow. She looks evil. Oh, I do not like that. I do not like that at all. I honestly think what color is her hat change that's her hat change I'll probably change that to a light blue Let's see if I can where is that that's right there it's right there oh yeah that's beautiful um yeah uh which do I like more I, I don't think I like her with long hair I think we'll we'll stick to this yeah <laughs> All right, here it goes, guys. I am nervous. Let's play. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's invite her to the group. Invite to group. Accept. And now an Osa. So I am, this is exciting. Oh, I am so excited. You don't even understand. All right, so let's just kind of talk about this. So, inflicts fire damage. Yeah, I wasn't about to start over. <laughs> yeah, I told him, I told Rudra here that I was going to be creating a new character, and I think, or switching to um, an Osa. I think he thought that I meant, wow, I cannot talk. I think he thought that I meant that I would be creating a new character, but I'm not doing that. So K9 plus 2 MP when, whoa, what the? I don't know what's going on. We're going to close that. All the bugs, man. Plus 2 MP. Um, inflicts air damage and reduces lock on allies. It increases MP. So, uh, well, well, did you do your homework? <laughs> yeah. As much as I could, I thought it interested me greatly. Okay, so I don't really care about black tofu. Animal link, yes. Um, fossil, what is... Man, that is just having issues with spells. Okay, so fossil. Um, inflicts earth damage and reduces MP on allies. It increases vitality and lock. So that's another good one for stats. I don't care about gobble. Call to order. Kills an ally summons recovers its AP which are given yep 
Um, inflicts damage and applies extra effects according to caster transformation. Um, I don't, I don't know. If not, <laughs> I don't mind, but I think I'll like it greatly. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how that spell works. Duster, yeah, don't care about that. Black Gobble, don't care about that. But Wormling, yes, I care about that. Dragon's Breath, inflicts five types of damage when a Wormling attacks the target nearby out. Oh, fancy. Take off. Switches positions with the summon, that's not bad. Also kills the summon, but... That's, it doesn't matter. Why does it do damage to the summon if it's going to kill the summon anyway? Who cares? Inflex. Oh, yeah. Um, so we'll do all of this. The, these over here, I think. Sacrificial fire kills the target. Gives 40. Per so sacrifices a summon to heal a nearby ally. Only works on the summons. Okay, Red Wormling, this is my other big guy, high energy shot. Loving that. Symbiosa takes control, definitely using that. So many freaking, uh, oh, I'm going to have to do, oh wait, you know what? I don't even have to do that. Okay, so give me two seconds. Now nah, we'll do that later. Okay, so. I think that's how we're going to set that up. I am going to figure out these spells and then get back to you. See ya. Alright guys, here we are. It's been, I don't know, probably 30-45 minutes, but I am really, really liking this character. I don't, I've heard some bad things about Osas and I don't know what they're talking about. They absolutely kick ass. It is amazing. I've flown through all of the Doppels without even a struggle whatsoever, and it's going to be hilarious if I finally die on this one. But uh, as you can tell, I've just been going through all of the Doppels, just doing them all, trying to get better and better. And I thought I'd take you along the ride just for the last Doppel, kind of walk you through kind of how this character works. All right, so we don't get to go first, so that's a little bit of a struggle. So the cool thing is, is that the six of the da, uh, osis spells are summoning spells and we will turn so you can see this okay so so you have two different summons you have the black wormling and the red wormling this guy's way stronger so i normally do an animal link with him which combines the two gives me ap and a couple of other benefits um and stuff like that. A lot of these spells have special skills. So like this one, if I use it on a on an ally, they get 2 MP. This one, they get 30% vitality. This one, um, I can switch to the position, but it does kill them. So I don't tend to use that one. So normally, I cannot control these guys. But since I am in my form, I can control them. I also have a spell that allows me to control them if I'm not in this form. And as you can tell, they also do pretty decent power or damage. Just wait till I use high energy shot. Then it just gets even better. Ooh, I'm taking a bit of a beating right here, though, but it's not even an issue. Um, but I don't get to use high energy shot, so that can be a little bit of a pain. But one of the cool things is, and I like this a lot. Look at this. I have 10 AP. Is that not ridiculous? So this spell, um, if I use it on him and then the Wormling attacks him, it's going to heal everyone in the area. This one heals the attacker 25% of damage suffered. So oh, that's just normal. Now this guy, um, not only can he Drago heal, which will heal for 161. If I use this on it, it's going to heal him also. So it's like double the heals. So now out of nowhere, he's full health. And everyone's full health, like, and then, yeah, okay, he's going to attack him again. Not a big deal. Let's just summon someone else. I mean, just look at this. We're just going to have him summon this. 
let's use a high energy shot and then we want to do the the healing one again and then now we'll go ahead and have him draco heal 161 i don't think he can kill him i hope not 130 see this guy's a little bit of the weaker of the two but the this drago fire i need i forget what the drago fire does i need to google it because i forget now drago fire does something though actually i think we can look oh no i don't know what the drago fire does but i pinky promise it does something so now we can heal and then look at that literally full health and killed everyone did the challenges did everything leveled up to 105 i mean not even an issue whatsoever so now let's go ahead and just accept all of these and boom 106 boom 106 i mean that that wasn't the point of all this just seeing all of that stuff i mean look just it's so amazing i can't get over how awesome it is but yeah that's what i've got for you that's what i wanted to show you here we are guys and i'm currently as you can see in brackmar and we are treasure hunting and the reason that we are treasure hunting is that I am currently collecting Rose of the Sands. And if you don't know what Rose of the Sands are, I didn't even know they use it for this. This is weird. They use a lot of not fun mats. Uh, but anyway, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, Rose of the Sands is actually... Um, used in a couple of things. What I'm actually using it for is I want to get the spell release for all four of my characters. Now release takes 500 soul sand per spell, I guess you could call it. So I have to collect 2,000 of it. And it's actually quite, quite annoying to get. Um, at level 100, or sorry, there are different levels of treasure tr treasure hunting you can do 20 40 60 80 100 120 all the way up to 200 um you cannot do anything over your level though so as you see i am like 111 right now i cannot do the 120 treasure hunt and i can't do anything above that i can only do the 100 treasure hunt um, but at this level, I can only get roughly 150 soul Rose of the Sands per treasure hunt. And treasure hunts can take, I don't know, it kind of depends. Like this one was really easy. It took me like 15 minutes, but I got stuck on one and it took me like 45 minutes. So it can range pretty greatly on the treasure hunt. But what you get from treasure hunts are you get, like I said, Rose of the Sands you also get some parchments, which I don't even know what I'm going to use those for. I'm not, basically. And you get some commas, like 2,000 commas. And I think all of that increases as you get to the harder harder treasure hunts. And basically, the only thing that changes when you go from difficulties of treasure hunting is, <laughs> excuse me, is the area that you're treasure hunting and also the... Uh, the reward so the roar just gets greater like you get more you get more what's the sand rose of sands uh per treasure hunt at a level 200 treasure hunt than a level 120 treasure hunt stuff like that other than that it's the same exact thing uh what you do is it tells you i can't show you because i'm already at the last stage it tells you to it, you start at a point and then it says go up down left or right and look for this specific thing on the map and these things do not highlight on the map uh so like one thing would be like look for bread signs so then i would start at a location and it would say go up look for bread signs so i'd go up and i'd look for this bread sign bread sign and once i find found that i would flag it and it would say look for something else etc etc you do this a couple of times and then you're at your final location and then you get to start a fight and the reason that I'm recording this is because I kind of wanted to show you the fight and kind of explain what it is. So what you're fighting is a treasure chest. And this treasure chest is really annoying in the fact that um, whatever damage you do to it 
it does back to you at about 80%, I would guess it kind of looks like, damage. And the, uh, gosh, I don't even know what the word of it's called, but you know how when you get attacked and, like, my base health is 140, 1,042, but you get attacked, it drops a little bit. Erosion. Boom. There it is. Not even going to cut that out. You guys can st uh, listen to me rambling and sounding like an idiot. So you also get, like, 40% erosion, so you lose a lot of health also. Uh, so basically, there's two kind of goals to this. The first goal is that you need to have more HP than him. Which at my level is hard because it has like 16 or 1800 HP and I only have a thousand. The second goal is that you need to be able to heal and have a large enough output. All right, and that's the second, and I meant tactic, and that's the tactic that I use. So I will go ahead and explain this to you guys. So we'll start the fight. And it, I mean, it's honestly just like any other random fight. So he's going to start the fight, and what's going to happen is he's going to do a couple of spells, one of which does about 40 to 50 damage to me every single turn along with the erosion so it's really annoying and then that's about it so we'll go ahead and just get started I don't like watching this stuff but we will watch this just because so this what he just got into right here has been really nice for me because all I do is I pop him in I animal link him and then that's really all I do at this point uh, I just run up here I chill and see I lost some some HP so I heal and then watch what happens right here and I actually healed at the wrong time I was supposed to do damage so I did 243 but I also lost almost 200 health so that's pretty much what I'm dealing with every time so what I've been doing is this dragon breath it's really helpful because I do damage but then I also, um, when he attacks, he heals me. So watch this. Uh, I'm currently at 668. So you can see that I'm going to lose 288 damage uh, life, but then I'm going to heal 168. So there's that. And I actually, that's weird. I only lost, I only, oh, duh, because I also healed then. So then I just kind of wrap it up with this, heal what's left in my turn and then literally just repeat repeat the process so now dragon's breath them again and then hell I'll even do it again let's speed up the process I actually used the wrong spell right there that was embarrassing okay so now I just want to make sure that I'm not gonna die so I'm at 473 so when I attack I'm gonna lose about 288 so we're safe here so I'll attack he's almost dead I'm currently at 427 and then we'll heal up the rest of it and then we'll end the turn. And then we'll do Dragon's Breath. Uh, oh, I can only do Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath again. So I'm currently at 284. So now I want to make sure that the damage that my Red Wormling does is not over 243, which it is. So I need to Drago heal first to make sure he stays alive. So now it's at 358. So now my life is over the amount of damage that it would do to me. So I go ahead and hit it. And the fight's over, I survived, I win, and we get our treasure chests. And for some reason, I only got two solid chests. Normally, I get better chests and I get more XP. Like last time, I got um, 6 million XP, and I think I got an even better chest. So I might have done something incorrectly back at the thing and done the wrong type of quest. I'm honestly not sure. But then with these chests, all you do is you double click it. And since I only got two and I normally get four, I'm actually not going to get the expected 150. I'm probably going to get like 75. So we'll double click it to open it. And I got 57 rows of sands. Which is, that's actually really good. I think I've had a couple where I only got like 20. Um, and I also got white parchments again. That doesn't matter at all. And then uh, double click the next one and just look at what else we got. We got 21 rose sand. So overall, not too good. I'm up to 389. Like I said, that was roughly 75. And I just realized I'm dumb and I forgot to equip my mount. Currently trying to level up my mount. Uh, Got to get that breeding in, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much what happens with, uh, with, tre with treasure hunting. If you guys are interested in it. I can show you like a uh, 
a time lapse of me doing an actual treasure hunt in the next video that I do. It would probably only be like a little two minute time lapse or something. I think I can speed it up that fast. So it, if it's something you're interested in, just let me know. But uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. All right, well, that is all I've got time for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, I am thinking about giving um, or doing a giveaway. Uh, nothing big, obviously. Like I said, probably just like a million commas. And it's I don't think it would matter uh, what server it was would, would be given to because I'll just sell the amount of O-Grinds on that server to be able to give away that. So I don't think the winner would... Uh, yeah, I don't think it would matter what server the winner was on. Uh, but if you guys like that idea, let me know in the comments section. And if it does happen to, uh, or if it does interest you all, then I will think about doing it. And if it, if you guys like show a lot of support for it, I will definitely do it. And we'd probably do that, or we'd start the giveaway on the Sunday video. And pretty much the only limitations... Are the only like how we would do the giveaway is pretty much just like uh, you have to be subscribed, you have to like the video, you have to comment on the video, something like that. I don't know, uh, but like I said, it's not going to be a very big giveaway, just like a million commas or something. But uh, again, if you like that idea, let me know in the comment section. But I hope you liked this video. If you really enjoyed it, leave a like. If you uh, really really enjoyed it i normally say really enjoyed it if you really really enjoyed it subscribe but as always leave a comment in the, sec in the comment section i cannot talk today let me know how i did let me know how i can prove all that fun stuff but uh other than that have a fantastic day guys peace